Hi, I'm Justin Newcomb from the Get Growing Roadshow, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your garden and plants with Yates. Well, a lot of people have been asking me about the best way to do a new lawn from scratch. Now, a new lawn makes any garden look amazing and also adds a lot of value to your property. But the first step is to prepare the ground. To start, we have to put some retaining walls in. Then we need to get rid of all the weeds, bring the topsoil, then I will show you how to lay the seeds. The lawn's about 25 square metres, so that gives us a rough idea of how much weed killer, fertiliser and lawn seed we need. I'm using a weed killer that's designed for large areas. Half a litre makes 125 litres of spray. It's rain fast in two hours and kills weeds and unwanted grass, roots and all. One of the most important things is to wait for a nice dry day to let the weed killer do its thing. Once the weeds are dead, it's time to move on to the next stage, which is to put in the edging. Retaining walls will keep the soil intact when it comes to gardens with different levels. No matter how perfectly cropped your lawn may be, it'll end up looking sloppy if you don't pay attention to the edges. Well, I've got two and a half cubic metres of lawn mix delivered, uh, so that's sand and soil mixed together. That means we'll be able to put 100 mils right across the top, which is perfect if you're laying a brand new lawn. Great. All right, so what we'll do is pile all the soil into the middle and then start raking it out to the edges. That way we make sure that the middle is nice and high and no water will pull up there. So the lawn should be nice and, and free draining all the time. And then once we've done that, we're ready to fertilise. Now don't forget that grass is also a plant. So plants are all about the soil. If you make the soil amazing, you'll end up with an amazing lawn. I'm using a natural fertiliser which will slow release nutrients into the soil and it's packed with goodies like blood and bone, seaweed and fish meal. Now if you're working to a ratio, like I'm trying to use half a bag on this whole lawn, don't be too heavy handed because you can always go over the surface again a second time. Now before sowing the grass seed, divide the area into manageable sections around about a square metre. Then sow evenly east to west and then north to south to make sure you've got an even spread over the whole area. With the seed sown, give it a light rake in. Once you've sown your lawn, one of the biggest reasons for failure is inconsistent watering. It's really important to have half an hour of watering every day. And with plenty of water and some sunshine, we can expect a beautiful lush lawn here in a couple of weeks. You can explore the Yates website for further how-to and problem-solver solutions.